from one tough talking CS to another. And that is the Education Cabinet Secretary, Professor George Magoha, who has today castigated Kenyans that argued that the competency based curriculum, CBC, is expensive and unmanageable for a Kenyan parent. The tough talking CS has also put it clear that the transition rate of pupils from primary schools to secondary schools in the 2020 KCP examinations uh, rate or year is a success factor for him. Zakias Mosame has that report. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha has dismissed those opposed to the implementation of the competence-based curriculum as clueless and egocentric, citing that Kenya is lucky to have such curriculum at its disposal. <laughs> Magoha, who spoke in Kakamega, denied claims that CBC is an expensive venture that can hardly be managed by Kenyan parents. So all this nonsense you are hearing, ignore them. And I can assure you, in my life, I think the only best thing that is happening now is a competency-based curriculum. Let us not allow the busybodies and politicians to divert. He accused LSK President Nelson Harvey, who is planning to file a petition challenging the competence-based curriculum of being incompetent as a lawyer. And if God gives me grandchildren, they must go through CBC. Not through a system where you are trained to, to pass an exam. And when you come out, you really can't even speak English. And if you are very fair to yourselves, you listen to the so-called experts who say 844 is very good. Some of the lawyers now can't speak English, so excuse me please. If you listen to them, not like lawyers 30 years ago, who could speak and you get lost. Now me as a common person who didn't pass in English, I speak better English than, this, than some of the lawyers. Why? Because basically they, 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 they cheated in the exams. Magoha posts that the government has so far achieved a 98% transition from primary to secondary schools. Don't go to school. And that his directive that it is better to be crowded rather than leaving the children later in the slums as we improve infrastructure should be lauded. I show the country that the government will do all that is possible to disburse the computation funds on a timely basis. And as I speak, we are already working on capitation funds for next term. Zakis Masami, NTV, Katamega.